So here we got the new foam gun and we're gonna test it out to see how it works. The bottle here don't have no labels or nothing so we're just gonna add as much uh, soap as we want. We wanna get it real foamy and soapy so here's the whole nozzle here detaches from there and then you got your number settings to dilute the foam the soap and get the foam so let's see how it goes all right so i got some soap in here just a multi-purpose cleaner not too much and we're gonna fill it with a little bit of water oh snap there we go. We're ready to foam the car. So this is the cheapest foam gun with, that we found on Amazon. And it works really great. So let's foam up the car. So now that it's soaked up and foamed up, I'm just gonna rinse it all off. Rinse it all off, get all the surface dust off of it. And then I'll get my wash mitt out after I rinse all of, uh, the soap's gonna break down whatever dust is on there and, and then I'll get the wash mitt and give it a scrub. Make sure when you're washing your car, you're drinking lots of beer and bumping some loud music. All right, now we got a bucket of water. If you guys want two buckets or three buckets or four, get as many buckets as you want, but I end up using this stuff right here. Meguiar's Wash Plus, because you put it right onto the wash mitt and then rinse out your mitt right there. Not even hose off the mitt and use two or three mitts. So I always have a clean wash mitt every time I wash the car. So I don't get no scratches, as many, as little scratches as possible. All right, washed up. Now we gotta dry the IS-250. And this is just a microfiber I got from the 99 cent store. So you don't gotta get nothing too expensive. It's microfiber, it's clean. And what happens is you gotta start drying the car and get the towel wet 
before it starts soaking up water so at first it's gonna seem like it's not soaking anything up but once it's damp you just wring it out wring it out here once it's all nice and damp you just keep going keep drying Make sure the sun is not hitting the car directly. If you gotta do it in the middle of the sun, then you're gonna have to take extra precautions. But you do it in the shade. Right now it's about six o'clock, like 6.30 on a summer day, in July, so. Just wait till the sun goes down a little and you'll be all good. So usually when I wash the tires and the rims, I use separate wash mitt from the one that I use to wash the paint. But since I'm just doing a maintenance wash, they're pretty clean. All I gotta do is wipe them down and then I'm gonna go over over everything with some of this turtle wax ice premium car spray wax and this stuff works pretty pretty good works on glass works on paint works on trim but at the end i end up going over the trim with this meguiar's super shine high gloss protectant which has superior UV blocking abilities from 3M. So I use that on the trim and the tires, and then I use the spray wax on the rims. And this stuff works really good to keep the rubber on your tires nice and, and fresh looking. I don't use any tire shine, I just use this for everything. And then for the exhaust, I use this Quick Glow. This stuff works good to seal and clean any, any uh, exhaust tips. So I got the stainless steel exhaust tips and uh, I'll shine them up with a little bit of this stuff. This uh, Supreme Shine High Gloss Protectant UV Blocking 3M product, and I just spray that right on the tires. On the tires, on the plastic trim here. This stuff, leave your tires nice and protected from the sun. Keep your tires nice and fresh. And then all the excess, just wipe it right off. Make sure it doesn't get on your paint, cause, or your rim. Just wipe it right off the rim there. Always just on the tires, it'll soak in, it'll keep the tires nice and fresh. <laughs> 